G'day YouTube. This video will show you guys how to manage your hard drive partitions in Linux Mint pretty much to get the most effective use out of your hard drive space pretty much. So uh, starting off I'll load it up, we'll go to Gparted which is the name of the program used to manage this. Now Gparted stands for, throw my password, uh, GNOME Partition Editor as you might guess. Now it's searching or scanning for the drives now depending on how long this will take I might pause the video okay I'm back and we are loaded up so the known partition editor as you can see here all opened up and it will show you a number of different drives I might just expand this a little bit but not to the edges so starting off here is my Linux Mint partition I click on it here, it will display here. So I've got roughly 350 gig there, which isn't too bad. You can see the file system type. In this case, it's uh, ext4. You know it's the mounted partition because it's uh, got the mount part there that you can see there. Mount point, should I say. Moving on, we've also got the uh, Windows partition, as you might be able to guess here. We've got two of them. We've got a recovery and uh, just the main OS, which is uh, NTFS, as you can guess here. Now, they're my two main operating systems. There is a third one here that I barely use based on its size as you can guess it is the uh, Ubuntu 15.10 uh, which isn't used too much just recently installed in fact now the way that all of these have actually come about is just from me installing new new uh, operating systems it's not from me messing around with this partition manager at all but this comes in really handy and it came in really handy for me recently when I wanted to stretch or make smaller or make larger actual partitions on my uh, or operating system sizes on the, the the overall hard drive which is right here as you can see nearly 500 gig there so uh, what I did for example is I wanted to let's say I want to make this one shorter so let's say I'm not using my Windows partition that much I know it's the Windows one hence the NTFS and I've got a good feel for the size that it is let's uh, make this shorter so let's just cut out some space so I can use it somewhere else so I'll just go right click go to resize and then make it a bit shorter resize and there we go so it's actually not resized yet you'll see the option here then you right click on it then you go to apply all operations now you can do this for pretty much anything anywhere you can just do whatever you want uh, you can even move them left to right move them in different spots but you do have to be careful if you move uh, the actual uh, partitions around just say from here to over here because uh, it can mess up your boot record. A safe thing to do though is to sh shrink the actual size of your partitions a little bit here and there. It's not so bad when you do such a thing. But um, yeah, you do still want to, as always I would say, back up when you're doing something like this just in case you do lose your data or there's an issue with the, the grub loader later on. But uh, it's it hasn't really been an, an issue for me much and I've just really enjoyed the ability to use this Gparted software. Now last but not least, some people might already know this, but you can't actually resize a partition which I was trying to do a moment ago in a partition that's actually already mounted so you can see this mount point I can't change this one at the moment but the way to get around that is actually to either boot up a Linux disk or go to the Gparted website and download a full ISO it's a full Linux distribution solely devised to have Gparted load up it doesn't it's it doesn't have many bells and whistles as an operating system it just does the basics there which is really cool so you load up that you stretch you move you change you do whatever you want you apply changes and you wait for it to to do its thing and be done then you restart and you load back up with a smaller or larger hard drive so that's pretty much it in a nutshell guys I hope this has been of some help for you uh, you can feel free to experiment experiment with it on your own machines but uh, do be careful because you can make some irreversible dangers with that if I can even pronounce that right now and uh, yeah so just be careful when you do use this but it truly has been a godsend for me and uh, something to always be aware of on Linux so cheers guys hope you've enjoyed and I hope that this has been of some help for you cheers